it's Tanya with Red Cardinal Crafts, and I just wanted to show you my finished lace bookmark I was working on the other day. So I finally finished it. it has its little tail and everything. The first patterns I ever made um, with bobbin lace, this is my very first one that my teacher made for me. And this is what it looked like. So it's a little bit different than this new one that I'm doing. Um, so this was, I was just learning. I made a few mistakes, but again, I was just trying to figure out how to do it. This was showing half stitch, whole stitch. Again, wow, when I really look at this, <laughs> it was a bit of a mess. But anyway, um, so that was my first one. And then she tried this pattern with me, but um, just a few weeks ago, and I was slightly confused. So she dumbed it down for me and made this one. And that was the one, that's this one here. So she draws a lot of her own patterns because she's been doing this for a while and she knows how to create the patterns. Now this one, next one that I'm going to be doing is a doily and this is the pattern here. It actually came from a book that she has called um, The Technique of Bobbin Lace by Pamela Nottingham. So uh, it's a great book because it shows you the patterns and um, what they're going to look like afterwards. And this is this next one. She just has a photocopy in there. And apparently this is what it's going to look like when I'm done. Let's hope. So she just photocopies them out of the book and she makes them different sizes depending on um, what she wants. So I actually have it all ready on my pillow for my next class. And uh, traditionally you use blue fabrics and blue paper just because it's easier on the eye. Um, it's either done in blues or greens. This material here that's on top of the pillow, here's the pillow, it's like a blue fabric. I can flip it over now because my pattern's not on there. It's, um, it's like a shiny coated foam. Um, I'll show you the company that I'm going to order it from and the, the name of it is, is on there. And then it has the, the cover with it. And then she uses um, unbleached cotton um, pieces of fabric and she places them around your pattern. Here's one here that's just on its own. So it's roughly 12 by 12, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Just squares that she makes and then she just dyes them in her washing machine in the blue color. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then what happens is when you're working on your pattern, see this is pinned to the pillow and then you just put the fabric down and then as you're working and when you finish up, you can use this to um, go over top of your lace while you're still working so it doesn't get messy or dusty or anything. And then you use the corsage pins, which these are, to pin your bobbins um, out of the way. And you use those as you're working so that you can pin certain sections of bobbins um, off to the side. So this all is all um, pricked just like these ones were. You can see in the light there that all the holes are all pricked and ready to go. So I've done that already and so all the dots um, have holes in them and I just put the pattern on the back of the pillow and pricked it um, that way so it doesn't get wrecked. So I will show you in a minute um, the supplies that I'm going to be buying. I'm going to buy my own supplies because like I said she loaned me all the stuff um, to get started to see if I even liked doing it because she said there's no point in buying all this if you're not going to end up liking it. So she was very nice to loan me all these things and she still, I, you know, there's no time limit. I don't have to get my supplies, but I would like to, you know, get my own things. This is a fabric um, little pouch that she made for all her bobbins and she just does it because it just protects the beads and um, it's an investment to buy all these so it's nice to keep them protected. Now um, I've been loading these up with the thread for this next pattern. I'm doing it in a light um, lilac color. Lilac? Lilac? Um, so I have those ones done but I still have to fill the rest of these but I will show you um, how I'm doing that. So this just rolls up but it just protects the beads a little bit being in the fabric and I'm actually working on making my own 
this is the material I have. It's just a really thick, ow, I just poked myself on the needle. Um, it's just a really thick cotton material. I had this from Ikea. I covered a chair um, that we have in our bedroom with this a few years ago. So I just had this left over in my fabric box. Um, so, and then I just have the black and I'm just going to divide all the little sections um, roughly by one inch. This is roughly 12 inches high, but it'll be enough to flip it over and um, cover up the the bobbins. So I have to sew that later. And what was I going to show you? Oh, the bobbins. Okay. Let me just um, get set up and I will show you. This is the um, the thread that I use. It's a pearl cotton. It's DMC. This is color 211 and it's size 12. So I'll show you how I wind the bobbins. Okay, before I show you the supplies I'm going to buy, I just wanted to show you this. My teacher gave me this the other day. I thought this was very sweet. Her and two other um, women made these for a group of us that get together. Um, it's a little stitching group. We get together once a month. I only actually made it to one class so far. I just got started with them, um, but I just got busy at Christmas making um, Christmas presents, so I didn't get to the December group or the January group. So she gave this to me the other day because I, I missed out. I wasn't there. And they made these for everybody in the group. It's a little drawstring bag with the ribbon and the beads. And then they cross stitched the pattern on it. Um, very nicely made. And inside was like a little magnifying glass, a couple chocolates, um, a few little trinkets like that. So I thought that was very nice. So now I'm going to show you the supplies that I'm going to buy for um, making the bobbin lace. Okay, so this is the company. It's called snowgooselace.com. And go into the products. All right, so the bobbins that I'm going to order are these ones. They're spangled, and spangled means they have this little um, ring of beads on them. And it's a mixed set. You get 12 of them, but it's a mixed set, and they're either plain like this or they're the fancy with the little ridges on there like that. Because if not, you can buy them plain and you can see the little pinhole up here and you can spangle them yourself, but I just don't have access to beads. So I'm just gonna get them already done. If not, there's a Belgian type of bobbin that just have the little bubble thing there like that. You can just get them plain, but because a lot of the times you work with the bobbins in pairs, I'd rather have them with the beads and I can kind of keep my pairs together. I'm really hoping they come with matched um, pairs. But anyway, so I'm going to be ordering uh, three sets of those actually. And then I'm going to get this kit. Now the pillow that I use right now is a 16 inch, but in these kits they either have it with, um, with the spangled bobbins, this one or this one. Now. This is a 20 inch pillow, this one's a 13 inch pillow, so because I've been working on 16, I don't want to go with a smaller pillow, so I'm going to choose this one. Um, so it's the pillow, here it is, Etha Foam pillow, um, that's the type of foam that it is, and then you get the cover for it, the blue cover. You get 24 bobbins, you get two spools of the thread, this is size 10, um, the size that I use uh, for my bookmarks, um, that finished one was in a 12, so it's a little bit finer thread. You get um, a pack of the steel pins, you get a pin cushion, you get the little pricker thing so you can prick the, um, the holes in the pattern, and you get a pattern book, and then you get the pricking pattern that goes with that book. Um, so it's called, the pattern, or the book is called Bob and Lace Without a Teacher. So that kit is $67.00. So I'll have that and then three sets of the bobbins. So I'll have 60 bobbins total. That seems like a lot, but that next pattern I'm going to be doing requires 52 bobbins. So, because you're going to be working in 26 pairs. Um, there's other pillows that you can get, other sizes you can get. You can get a bolster pillow, which is a rounded one. If you look on YouTube, you see some people working with those. Um, I'd like to try one like that someday, but I'm just going to stick with what I know right now. Uh, so here's the cookie pillow, and you can actually make the cover yourself, but really, why bother? <laughs> um, so, And you can get the 16-inch pillow, but I just like the, the kit idea. You can get everything in it. Um, 
you can get the little pricker, you can get your pins, so you can buy all the stuff separate if you want. Then they have, they also have some tatting things, um, tatting books and stuff. It's just a different, um, you know, different method, a different um, craft. They have tatting shuttles. I can only do needle tatting. Um, anyway, and then you can get all the different colors of um, threads, and you can get all different sizes too. So lots to choose from. They're like three ninety five a roll. So really good prices. So that is where I'm going to be getting my um, supplies from. All right. So I will be back with. Um, some more of my lace once I uh, start working on that pattern, which will probably be in a couple weeks actually. So I'll be back with another video. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.